Happy birthday, Aid. I got my free birthday coffee from Starbucks. Oh, you can't say that. Was it hot? Was it hot? <laughs> Morning. Good morning. We're starting vlog, sat by the bridge. Gonna have a bit of a wander in a moment. Mm. And we've got a really nice booking later for Aid's birthday. We're going up the Shard for afternoon tea, a Peter Pan afternoon tea. Are you feeling tired this morning? Yeah. We woke at six. Well, I woke at five, didn't I? Yeah, we left the hotel about eight o'clock, didn't we? We're just gonna have a nice coffee. Disappear like smoke. And I thought I'd just seen a ghost. Then I looked at something that we've noticed continuously is that there's constant maintenance and upkeep of everything going on. Angle. All right, we're going to wander over the London Bridge. Something else we learnt yesterday was that this bridge has been moved three times. Apparently, I don't know where, you can see posts of where it was previously, if you look, but I don't know where they are. One of them markers so boats don't go near them. Uh -uh. All right, so it looks like this bridge was originally erected in 1850. That's where we had coffee this morning over there by the Tower Bridge. So this here is very loud and this is the monument of the Great Fire of London. Was this monument actually built in... Sorry? Was this monument actually built then? Yep. In 1671? Yeah. Really? That's crazy. So it started in 1671 and was finished then 1677. And the Great Fire of London was 1666. Wow. De the fire devastated two thirds of the city, destroyed 13,200 houses, 87 churches, and 52 livery company halls. What's interesting is Christopher Wren. Yeah, I saw that. Obviously, he was obviously around our way, wasn't he? I don't know. Is he? Paul Windsor. Oh, was he? I well, didn't know yeah, that. All the, a lot of the buildings where the chocolate shop is. Yeah. It's all Christopher Wren stuff. I didn't know that. These look so cute. Sandwiches look really nice, don't they? We've just sat down right by the monument there and we're going to have an almond croissant. I've got one to share. Right, go on then. You're going to split that in half. I'll let you do the honours. The monument is actually open. I didn't realise. So you can go all the way to the top if you wanted. And now we're on Pudding Lane, which is where the fire started. So yeah, we're so. now at the site here. And this is where the Great Fire of London started. There's loads of these little plaques everywhere and it tells you what stores they were and who owned them. They've actually got them each named as well. And you've got these like little steps here. They're almost like little seats and they've got the words to London's burning as well. It's quite cool. And this is actually called Monument Square. Nice little bit of London history there. And obviously it was the fire that killed the plague, wasn't it? Sorry? Was the fire that killed the plague, wasn't it? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, I think so. This building here looks really cool. And you've got the walkie-talkie building above. Right, so we're now in Leiden Hall of Market. We're just going to take a wander. It's really early in the morning, so probably most things are closed. Pretty. Oh, that looks nice. 
them quite nice. There's a lot, Sorry? There's a lot of time there as well. Oh yeah. Little sweetie shop. Yeah, there's advantages for getting out early. There's no one else around, but there's also nothing over when you come to a city. Should we wander down this way? Pizza Express. Are they? Yeah. They've got a new skyscraper going out. How do you know? Oh, okay. Ah, oh, I didn't realise that. We go here, we might see it. Yeah. There's a pen shop. It's just really, really pretty. Aid's excited about the new, watching the new skyscraper being built. Do you like it here, Aid? Just seen on the flags, it says it's celebrating 700 years old, this market, which is rather cool. I just love all this. Everywhere you look, it's just so beautiful. It's like stepping back in time. Oh, age, you're missing a lift going up in the new thingy. I, I do like old meets new. Let me know if you do as well. That's a cool chandelier. This looks so scary. Does this look like the Masked Singer? Yeah. It does a little bit, doesn't it? You got that song in your head now. It's your first time coming here. Yeah. It's cute, isn't it? Yeah, I'm stuck and down. Sorry. It needs it's to right. be open though to enjoy <laughs> to it enjoy They're getting set up here. What time is it? About ten past ten. Yeah. I bet they're getting set up for like lunchtime. But the shops so. aren't open yet. No. So but it's, it's nice. It's nice really, really it's sweet. Nice and quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so we're now on Tower Place and I don't know what this building is um, but we're now right by the Tower of London I think we're going to find out what this is This is called All Hallows by the Tower Founded 675 AD It's the oldest church in the city. There we go, I didn't know that existed. I need to have a bit of a read up over there. We've really enjoyed just a little bit of a wander today. We really enjoy the wandering, however, I've had a blister since we left. I got a blister on my first day. I'm wearing Converse, I live in Converse. They've never bothered me. And this morning it's actually gone through my tights, taken off my plaster. So we've just had to, I've just had to run into a super drug to grab some plasters but I keep bleeding every day it keeps bleeding through and it's driving me mad that's a cute door aid hey, stand next to the door oh you could just about get through what about the next one do you think that's the door for me yeah that's a Lisa door is it yeah it's a cute one Tower vaults and then oh that looks cool in there that just opened oh there's a kitchen and bar in there it's a wagon mamas I'd hate to be a delivery driver or any type of driver in the city no. you think not only have you got tiny spaces but you've got people everywhere yep. and actually right now there's hardly any people around you think under normal circumstances this would be heaving around here So we've been asked a lot, how busy is London right now? Bearing in mind it's 22, 11 in the morning. This is how busy it is right now. Under normal circumstances, in August, this would be so busy. We come every year when my dad comes over from the States, we always do a London trip in August and it's always heaving. There's also a lot that obviously isn't open. There's an upstairs up there. An upstairs of what? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a little coaster up there. I would like to do the Tower of London again. I haven't done it for years. 
Should we do it next time? Yeah, I don't think I've done it. Mm. Well, we were going to wander down here, weren't we? Yeah. Should we do that? Little... Yeah. Where's that bacon smell? <laughs> Aid keeps smelling bacon. Does that smell good? It did, yeah. We're just saving ourselves for afternoon tea. That's why we haven't eaten too much. Yeah. We found everybody. There is quite a queue going in. That's where all the people are. Came called the Lion Tower. Go on, read that wondering, again. Wondering if that is where yeah. the lions come from. Oh, we're just reading. Oh, okay. Where the three lions come from? The Lion Tower. It's not the Badil and Skinner song. No. <laughs> they housed um, exotic animals here that were received as royal gifts, including lions. That's quite cool, isn't it? So they're saying here, part of the drawbridge remains. Yeah? What, the original? When was it actually built? Oh, Sir Thomas More was imprisoned. Who is Sir Thomas More? Beheaded on the Tower Hill in 1535. Wow, it was a very busy place. Oh, so there would have been a moat here by the looks because there would have been water going around. It is really gruesome when you think of all the horrible things that went on here, isn't it? Yeah. When did you say it was built? I don't know if it was built, but there's dates up here about he added a wall with many towers and a moat in the 1200s. Right, so maybe before then do you think? It doesn't actually say here, does it? I guess that's what you have to pay to go in and find out all the things, don't you? It does say there, Henry VIII, extending and strengthened the tower, the William the Conqueror. Oh, William the Conqueror, so he was 1066, wasn't he? Yeah. Wasn't he? I don't know, I don't know, to be honest. Places. These are the cute houses that we've seen from the other side of the bridge. Yeah. I've been wondering what they are. And that above it is the Shard, and that's where we're going for afternoon tea. I've just spotted the three lions. Can you yeah. see? There they are, guarding the place. Just gonna walk along the river. This looks so cute. Look at these little pods. <laughs> you can get those for your gardens now. Oh, I really like these. They're not cheap, are they? That's so cute. They've got little heaters in there as well. It's the Copper Club. Seems a bit of a waste when there's only two of you, doesn't it? <laughs> Don't you think? Idea, it's so sweet. I know, there's loads. They've got little heaters inside as well, I've seen. Yeah. I really There's like the these. Well. Oh, they turn around as well. Oh, do they? Oh, look at the oh, lights look. inside. That's so cute. I want to eat here next time. Right, so the Tower of London is named after its oldest building, the White Tower. I'm guessing that's the one in the middle, the White Tower. So when you look at it from a distance, it's paler, isn't it? And then it has got the picture there, I don't know. Here we go, the William the Conqueror built the White Tower in the late 1070s as a secure royal fortress. So it's then been expanded over the years, hasn't it? So it started off, yeah, that's the original bit, built then by William the Conqueror. He built the tower within the existing remaining remain Roman city walls. So the city walls must have already been there then. The castle dominated London and its people and showed the power of the new king. So then in the 1100s, the tower became the infamous prison. And between 14... A, wow, there's up to four, 1941 people were executed here. Yeah, and I think... Do you think Anne Boleyn was one of the most famous to be executed here? So, yeah. yeah, I think so too. It's pretty evil, isn't it? They were all nasty people back then. And the last public execution on Tower Hill took place in 1780. That's quite cool seeing it, like in this sketch here. So there's the tower. There's London. No, it's this the side. Moat. Yeah, because this is the tower. The so yeah, the exactly. No, because this moat. would have all been a moat water, yeah. going around. So we've learnt all that, we don't need to pay 30 quid each to go in now, do we? <laughs> no. <laughs> takes to harm what I wrote I said, son, when you grow up you'll be fine 
The smell of the rosemary garden is so lovely walking along here. Is that Big Ben we can hear? Yeah. Probably. It's quite loud actually, isn't oh, it? Oh, there was another. I was there. No, do you remember when there was another clock that we heard go off? I don't think that was. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. No, I don't think it is actually. All right, I don't know if you can hear us because it's really loud. We think we've just found the ravens, the tower. It's, well, I'm going to read up about it, I think. I remember. There's an ancient law, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, that you have to keep. Yeah, kids, it's seven ravens or something. I have no idea, but I remember I when I realised, when I saw, we were trying to work out what was in the cage, and then we just saw a big black bird, and then I remembered the thing about, isn't it otherwise the London something, will fall down like, or well, something? Something, like something about, it's to do with law. I don't know, let's go well, out. Let's, let's read up about it. Yeah, we'll maybe there's record, definitely. Maybe we've, record a bit when we find out. But, yeah, we've yeah. definitely seen ravens in there. You can see them in the top there, but we saw one on the ground well, a minute ago. The black I can see. Yeah. yeah. Big on oh, look. They are big. What, can you see one? Lomo. Sorry? What? Lomo. Where's the Lomo? Down there. What? Yeah. Oh. Automatic uh, Lomo. I can see a raven on the, um, on the string there. So we've just come out for a wander. And I wasn't going to vlog, but I put my camera in my bag anyway. This area is Butler's Wharf. It's just further down from the Tower Bridge. It's so nice. We were told that they've really cleaned up the area. Um, there's loads of restaurants along here and beautiful apartment blocks, loads of boats. And we were just reading up that in this area here, what year was it again? In the 18th century, yeah, it was so busy that vessels would often be moored out here for days with all their cargo and you'd have the trouble of pirates that would then come and take over the boats but if the pirates were caught they were hung right here so um, there's a lot of history around here they're doing some work here as you can see but look at these buildings can you imagine these apartments you've got the city there canary wharf You've got some old boats over here as well. And then you've got then the London Bridge as well. But all the apartments along here are just so nice and all with restaurants going along. It's an absolute beautiful area. Never ever been down here before. Really, really nice. area though take a look and look at the restaurant choices along here and um, it's definitely worth considering the olive trees look nice along here don't they This is so nice along here. Oh look at all these, the little walkways. 1891. Doesn't actually feel like we're in the UK, does it? No. And this is the place where we had ice cream and cake before sat out here. Yeah, I think they're making like benches and things here, look. Had a really nice day today, haven't we? We've yeah. walked loads again, but we have been chilling out this afternoon. And now we are ready to go for our afternoon tea. It's a Peter Pan afternoon tea up the, I always used to call it the Shard, but it seems to be called the Aqua Shard. But, um, yeah, we've got an appointment uh, or a reservation, I should say. <laughs> appointment. <laughs> Quarter past three. We're not used to dressing up and going out, are we? No, not at all. It feels really uncomfortable. <laughs> Our last evening, we've come down to sit on the steps, <laughs> just got a Pepsi, and we're just going to chill for a bit, aren't we? All the lights have just gone on. We were going to go to the bar, yeah. um, and not saying that because we didn't want to spend the money, but it just we felt like being outside. 
need some fresh air. And we did have two glasses of champagne in the shard. By the way, if you want to check out the afternoon tea, we ended up filming more than we expected. Mm. So we put that in a separate vlog and we'll include the link down yeah, below, we'll below yeah. if you want to go and check out our Peter Pan afternoon tea. At the shard. Which we absolutely love. Yeah. We're just going to hang out this evening for our last evening, aren't we? Yeah, just do some people watching and watch the boats go past. We've had a lovely day and if we don't get a chance to say goodbye, hope you've enjoyed. Yeah. We'll catch you in the next video. Yeah. Bye. Right, the rain's coming. We are gonna make a move. I'm gonna buy some milk and have a cup of tea and a movie in our room. We've got some ginger nuts to eat. Bye bye. It's been so We've nice. We've loved isn't our it? evenings here. We'll have to do it again, won't we? Yeah. What you've got.